Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I did the whole series at Lizard Island, but I thought I'd do a bit of an update um, in the marine lab with the new marine tank that I've got set up, and as well, probably in future videos and stuff, all the freshwater stuff that we'll have going on as well. So yeah, tune in, we'll go through the new tank setup, all the equipment, um, how it works, how it's gonna run, and all the rest of it. So yeah, thanks for tuning in guys, see ya. All right, so my marine lab is set up in, in my lab here. Put all the fish posters up and all the rest of it because it is for our marine studies class as well as science and biology. Uh, you can see we've got the marine tank that's hiding over here. I don't know about the final spot for it. I'm still tossing up whether or not to put a freshwater next to it or another setup. I'm not too sure anyway. So it's not in its final spot at the moment, but I thought I'd just run through the new tank we've got. So uh, the tank itself is a secondhand Mini Reef 120. I did have the Mini Reef 150 on the last the last reiteration of the tank. It was a white stand, this one's kind of black, it looks a bit better with the, the lab, but it was white, 150, it was a bit deeper, just harder to work on, so I thought I'd go um, a slightly smaller tank, but kind of upgrade the equipment and go oversized on it so I could, you know, fill it up and get lots of livestock in there as well. So let's go through the equipment. Okay, so the new equipment that we've got for the tank, we've kind of upgraded all the parts of it to make sure it's, you know, running best it can and try to avoid some of the problems we had with our last one with, um, like power outages and things like that when I'm not in on the weekend. Um, so at the top, we've got the AI Blade Grow. That's a 21 inch unit. I can look for an upgrade with the Glow as well if need be, but I'm going to see how we go with just this one. Um, I've got the Red Sea Jump Net. I am going to put one of the feeding ports in there, one of the acrylic ones or one of the other branded ones. We come down to the tank, so it's the uh, Life Rock, the Shapes, so I think it's Carib Sea Shapes. Pretty simple little design, it's just two arches and a donut. I think it's a pretty cool design, so I've got one arch down the bottom, one over the top, and then the donuts on the right side there. And I do plan to put in, you know, some smaller rocks and things like that on the side of the tank on the bottom right, just for, you know, other corals or low light corals and things like that. All right, let's go under the hood. Okay, so like I said, I have upgraded um, the equipment, so I've got some newer stuff and I'm still waiting on a couple of things, but at this stage is what it looks like. So we've got the overflow down into the filter sock. I'm still tossing up whether or not to use like a C-Torch filter sock holder, which might make it a bit easier for maintenance. So I'm looking at the, I think it's the LJ100. So I've got the Great White Skimmer GW5. It's a brand new unit. Um, thanks again for Delore for, um, you know, helping us out with, with that as well. They gave it to us for a discounted price, which is always nice. We've got a Aqua EL heater, 200 watt, I think it is. We've got the Mantis Bio blocks down there for the biomedia, and we've got a Ecotech Vectra S2 return. So that's kind of the main, obviously the main return flow that goes back up to the tank. I am also looking at getting possibly well, I've got an M MP10 in the other room that I'm looking on putting in there as well. And it'd be good because then I can get all the lights and the flow and the return pump and everything all through Mobius. So it's all on the one platform. And there's some things that I haven't put on the tank yet, which I will be doing in the coming weeks. So I do have the um, Ecotech Marine battery backup as well. As I said before, we did have an issue with the last tank with battery or at least backup um, at all for power outages. So that'll give us, you know, a couple of hours I can run the the Vectra S2 on that because a battery backup booster uh, on that one as well. So we've got that. I've also got the ATO that needs to go on as well. Um, I've got a drum that I keep next to the tank that I'll set up as well. Now, the only other thing, so I've got, obviously it's unfilled at the moment, it's not running. So the plan is uh, today is to get the sand. It is the Carib Sea Araga Live sand. So the reef sand there. So we're gonna put that one in and that's gonna help start the cycle as well as using all the products to get it going. So the sand will obviously go all around the rockscape at the bottom, not gonna to go too thick, but that'll be kind of piecing it all together right before I add all the water in, which I've got as well. So we're gonna go add that in. The only other thing I'm still tossing up for whether or not I should do is, I've got one rock left, this cave left, um, that I'm not sure if I'm gonna include it or not in the tank. Um, Cause I was playing around here. This is obviously the cutout for the tank and I was doing playing with all the rocks that I decided to go with there. It's a little bit too big to put in the tank, so I think I'm gonna swap it out for another smaller rock, like I said, in that bottom right corner. And because it is only a Mini Reef 120, you know, I'm not looking at doing a huge amount of livestock in here. Mostly mixed reef, but primarily soft corals that I've got. I had some from the last tank that I'm holding at home as well as some smaller fish. So, you know, some you know, pair of clowns and some wrasse and gobies and just that kind of stuff, all the small little fish. 
and then yeah, lots and lots of coral, uh, lots of zoas and softies and leathers, and I'm fragging all my corals at home, so. Yeah, it should be good when it all comes together. So yeah, tune in for it and we'll um, see how we go. All right, so I'm just holding the water. I've got about 120 litres. I'm hoping it fills it up. Maybe not with the sump, but I can add more if I need be. So I'm gonna get the sand in, get the water in, get the tank cycled. Got my gloves on, don't want anything else going in the tank. Make sure I don't get any grubby hands in there. So as I said, I've got the carrot seed reef sand and rag alive so it's obviously got all the bacteria to help start the cycle as well so i've got about nine kilos here in this bag so um it should be enough it might be too much actually but we'll put a little bit in and we'll see how we go from there So I've got the sand in, it's going to look a lot neater when the water's in, but sand's in, uh, the top rock isn't, so I'm going to leave it over there until the water's in. So I've got a little bit left of the bag, I don't want it too thick, you know, aim for about one to two centimetres, it's probably a bit deep in some parts, but I'll add the water and see how it all settles out. Let's go. Ice cream container lid so the sand doesn't go over it. Why don't you guys are watching this tank fill up with water, because I know how interesting and fun that is. I just want to say big thank you to Quantum. They always support the tank with supplements, salt, carbon, all the good stuff that we need uh, through the school program that they run. So yeah, it's, it's obviously a huge cost without um, without them, it wouldn't be possible because our budget obviously is restricted at school. But um, so they, you know, all this salt water that's going in, I made up at home. So thank you very much, Quantum. You guys are awesome. Hoping these lights are slightly waterproof because I'm splashing all over them. I'm getting water everywhere. I'm gonna, um, cloudy. I'm probably going to quickly just get a bucket and do the last couple of bits in there. Hopefully the sump fills. Guess we're gonna find out if there's any leaks. Now I did a water uh, water leak test first, but the overflow is just starting to fill up, and the water from the you know the return valve is. Going in and filling up, filling up chamber by chamber. So add a bit more water, get it over the edge and then go from there. All right, tank's full to where I want it. Uh, the sump is still not full. Probably the last chamber's full, but everything else uh, needs to be heightened a bit. Probably about 20 more liters. So I'll get the 20 liters in uh, and then we'll get this pump in and get it clearing up. Hi right, guys, uh, here it is. So I actually went home and made some more water and brought it in the next day. I got the tank all cycled, which is now finished. I had a massive diatom bloom. I always had a bit of algae all over the rocks and everything it was pretty gross, but I didn't even get any photos or videos. So I had to get a bunch of snails. So I got some uh, turbos, some trochus, some strombus. Um, they're all kind of chilling around and just added a couple of softies in last week. Uh, the light has just been off while I've just been doing a couple of things under the tank. I did actually get the filter sock holder, so that's kind of sitting at the back there now. Made it a bit more silent, but it's made everything go crazy. The skimmer's all bubbly, so it's just started kind of bubbling up the tank. So I'll be getting some livestock next week. We have a pair of clowns coming from Coastal Clownfish, who always have supported the school with the last pair of clowns and these guys as well. So they'll be arriving in a couple of weeks' time. And I've also organised some other fish to be purchased, obviously through the school, that we can start filling it out and get some new corals in. I've got to bring all the corals from home as well, but they're just settling in and just opening up. No two crazy colors on them, just, just kind of settling in. Also got some, some zombie snails as well that just started to dig around for food, so that's great. All right, everyone, thanks for watching this setup video. So we'll have a new video coming soon when we get more livestock, got some more fish and corals and snails and urchins and shrimp and all the rest of it coming in so please stay tuned i'll get this uploaded now for you guys to enjoy and i'll see you in the next one